Bellingham Fire Department, Whatcom Medic One, have been field testing and product developing new emergency medical devices for the last 35 years. This benefits the citizens of Whatcom County because they're able to be exposed to leading edge medical technology long before it becomes available on the open market. We've already looked at specialized devices that we use for airway and breathing emergencies. Today, we're going to look at cardiac emergencies. Janice Lipsansky is the Whatcom County Clinical Coordinator for an NIH study on this new CPR device. The purpose of, of CPR, of course, is to compress the heart with the skeleton to pump blood towards the brain and through the circulation in the heart. After a chest compression, we have to be careful to relieve pressure on the chest. That creates a vacuum that brings blood back to the heart through veins that have one-way valves. If we allow enough time for heart filling, then our next chest compression is more effective. Uh, unfortunately, chest compressions, standard chest compressions, are only about 25% as effective as the normal functioning heart. The idea behind the rescue pump is to create that vacuum quicker more effectively and in a greater way so that we have better filling of the heart and again our next chest compression is more effective. I hate to say it, but the first time I saw a rescue pump I thought it looked like a toilet plunger with a high-tech T-handle. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, there was an incident in San Francisco. One of the physicians that's involved in this study had received a patient in the emergency room whose family had resuscitated him using a bathroom plunger. That got this scientific mind thinking, maybe there is a simpler uh, solution to improving CPR, and it sparked the design of the rescue pump. We're nearing the end of a two-year study. How are things looking so far? Things are going very well, but I have to say, Whatcom County Emergency Medical Services already had a great track record. Our success rate in responding to uh, cardiac arrest was nearly twice that of the national average and w because we're involved in this study we've improved on that as well. So more people are uh, getting a pulse back in the field, more people are being transported to the hospital where they can get more advanced care. Now let's look at two other cardiac devices that the Bellingham Fire Department, Wacom Medic One, helped to field test. The first cardiac monitors were heavy, bulky, and could only look at the heart in three different directions. With the new monitors, we can look at the heart in 12 different directions, which allows us to pinpoint which part of the heart is being damaged in a heart attack. We can now contact the hospital with precise information about the patient's condition, which speeds up the process of getting them to definitive care in the cardiac catheterization lab. The process of defibrillation has changed also. If the patient's heart is beating in a chaotic manner, we pass an electric current through the heart, which temporarily stops it until the heart's own pacemaker takes over. The old method of holding paddles in the patient's chest carried a lot of risk, particularly when the ambulance was going around a corner or over rough roads. Now the pads adhere to the patient's chest while a cable carries the charge safely from the defibrillator. The Bellingham Fire Department, Wacom Medic One, have developed a national reputation for field testing emergency medical devices. So how did this happen? Well, it's through the efforts of one man, our medical director, Dr. Marvin Wayne. In fact, he was recently given the title Hero of Emergency Medicine by the American College of Emergency Physicians. And now, a few words from Dr. Wayne. Well, it was really a surprise to receive this award, but this award really doesn't belong to me. It belongs to the wonderful EMS personnel who we get to work with here in Whatcom County personnel that are equally dedicated to helping to save Thank lives. you, Dr. Wayne. Among his many other accomplishments are... Guys, wait. No, 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 no. We're not doing the durability test on Dr. Wayne. Ooh, well, that's going to leave a mark.